A Des Moines nonprofit that started last June has grown now internationally, all to create a community for women who served in, served in armed forces. A local five's Eva Anderson spoke with the like civilian who started it in honor of sisters who served. Alyssa has spent another Memorial Day without her friend Lori, a military veteran. And she was just, I don't know, she was always the happy one. After Lori passed in 2015, uh, we Alyssa wanted to learn more one. about how her really friend had lived as a woman in uniform. Alyssa is married to a veteran, but has never served herself. So she connected with a few women veterans on Facebook, asking questions to gain understanding. What was your experience like in service? What was your branch? Did you ever deploy in a small group posing those questions to six women? The next day, the group had grown on day nine. I had a thousand women veterans worldwide. Alyssa soon realized how much these veterans needed a safe space where they could unpack their experiences, because even though their brothers in arms have been supportive, no matter how much a guy tries, they're not going to understand what it's like to have to get dressed in a sleeping bag or how to handle, you know, feminine health issues in the field. For some, this tribe became vital to mental health and survival. As one woman told her and she was like over two decades, I've never confronted my assaults that happened in service and just knowing that I have this group. I finally filed my claim. Moved by powerful stories, Alyssa created the Bombshell um, Patriots website featuring photos of members. So this one is my favorite. It's a bunch of females pushing a Humvee. And a color scheme that would have made her friend proud. We're going to do this like me and Lori would have done this. We're going to be hot pink and green. Those colors splashed on the flyer for the first ever conference planned for September. An in-person forum for these women to connect, gain resources, learn how to file claims for service-connected disabilities, and attend the bombshells and boots dance. Wear your favorite party dress and your combat boots. Hello, that sounds like the most fun thing ever. Yeah, because uh, Alyssa doesn't want any of these brave women to be seen as victims of trauma. Instead, you know, they're survivors, they're fighters, they're warriors. Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. The conference is the weekend of September 24th, and it is open to female veterans and their spouses. We also have all the information and a link to register on our website, weareiowa.com.